Ready to dive into the wonders of Dubai, where skyscrapers touch the clouds and deserts stretch to the horizon? Imagine standing atop the world at the Burj Khalifa, shopping in the vast Dubai Mall, and experiencing the thrill of a desert safari. This is How to Spend Four Days in Dubai, your go-to guide for experiencing the heartbeat of this dazzling city. Smash that like button, subscribe for more awesome travel guides, and watch till the end for more essential tips that will make your Dubai trip unforgettable. Let's jump into an adventure filled with moments that'll turn your days in Dubai into memories that last a lifetime. Best Time to Visit Dubai To fully enjoy the outdoor marvels and comfortable exploration, the ideal time to visit Dubai is between November and March. During these months, the weather is pleasantly cool, allowing for endless desert adventures and comfortable strolls through the city's streets. This period also aligns with Dubai's peak tourist season, offering vibrant festivals, outdoor markets, and a bustling atmosphere. However, for those seeking fewer crowds and competitive hotel rates, the shoulder seasons of October and April are promising, with the understanding of warmer temperatures. City Airport Tips Arriving at Dubai International Airport DXB, one of the world's busiest airports, offers a glimpse into the city's bustling energy. To ease your arrival, consider using the smart gates for a swift passport control process, available to visitors with e-passports. Exchange a small amount of currency at the airport for initial expenses, although cards are widely accepted. The Dubai Metro's red line connects directly to the airport, providing an affordable and convenient option to the city center, costing approximately 1 to 2 USD. How to get around Dubai Dubai's modern and efficient public transportation system includes the Dubai Metro, buses, and abundant taxis, ensuring that navigating the city is both easy and affordable. The Dubai Metro offers access to major attractions with single journey tickets ranging from 50 cents to 2 USD depending on the distance. For unlimited travel, consider purchasing a day pass for approximately 8 USD. Alternatively, taxis provide convenient door-to-door -door service with fares starting at 3 USD plus 50 cents USD per kilometer. For a unique experience, hop on an Abra, traditional boat, for just 27 cents USD for a ride across Dubai Creek where to stay in Dubai. For young travelers, the Dubai Marina and Jumeirah Beach residents JBR areas are pulsating with energy, offering beachfront access and proximity to nightlife and dining. Accommodation options range from luxury to budget, with average prices from 100 to 300 USD per night. For those intrigued by shopping and modern attractions, downtown Dubai is home to the Burj Khalifa and Dubai Mall, with hotel rates averaging 150 to 400 USD per night. Alternatively, for a taste of Dubai's historical side, consider staying at Al Fahidi Historical Neighborhood, where traditional boutique hotels provide a charming experience at around 80 to 150 USD per night. Day 1 Navigating Dubai's Cultural Heart Morning, Al Bastakia. Dubai dazzles with its towering skyscrapers and sleek modernity. But nestled within this futuristic cityscape lies a portal to its rich past. Al Bastakia, also known as the Al Fahidi Historic District, offers a glimpse into Dubai's life before its transformation into the cosmopolitan giant it is today. Perched along the serene Dubai Creek, this 19th century neighborhood once pulsed as the heart of Dubai's burgeoning trade scene. Its narrow lanes and traditional buildings constructed from stone, teak, and sandalwood paint a stark contrast to the city's contemporary glass and steel structures. Exploring Al Bastakia is like wandering through a maze of history where every alleyway and courtyard is dotted with vibrant street art, cozy cafes, intriguing museums, and eclectic galleries. Just a 10-minute stroll from Al Fahidi Metro Station, Al Bastakia is most enjoyable when visited early in the morning. This way, you can beat the midday heat and bask in the cooler morning air. Mid Morning XVA Gallery Just around the corner from the fort, you'll stumble upon the XVA Gallery, a vibrant hub showcasing contemporary works by Arabian artists. The exhibitions rotate regularly, offering a diverse array of styles and themes that are as thought-provoking as they are varied. Many artists here use their platform to shine a light on pressing political and social issues, 
so you're guaranteed to leave with your mind buzzing with new ideas and perspectives. The best part? Visiting XVA won't cost you a dime, and it's open every day from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Here's an insider tip. If you find yourself in Dubai during March, don't miss the Sika Art Fair held at the gallery. It's an absolute treat for art lovers. Lunch. After meandering through the labyrinthine lanes of Al Bastakia, treat your weary feet to a cozy corner in one of its charming cafes. Nestled within the Arabian Tea House is a treasure trove of Arabic culinary delights. Whether you're in the mood for light bites, hearty biryanis, or delectable sweets, their menu has something to satiate every craving. And let's not forget the extensive selection of teas and coffees available to wash it all down. Consider pausing here for a scrumptious slice of date cake paired with a revitalizing beverage, or perhaps make it your lunchtime retreat. Expect to spend around 10 to 15 USD for a fulfilling meal. Afternoon, Deira. Crossing Dubai Creek from Bur Dubai, you'll step into the vibrant Deira district, renowned for its dazzling gold souk and aromatic spice souk. The gold souk is like a maze of alleyways, brimming with shops that showcase exquisite gold jewelry adorned with precious stones. It's a glittering treasure trove where the art of bargaining is part of the experience. While exploring, stick to the official shops for your purchases instead of street vendors. Here, jewelry is priced by weight and haggling is not just welcomed, but expected. No worries, the salespeople won't take offense. Just a stone's throw away is the spice souk, also known as the old souk, offering an array of spices that will tantalize your senses. It's a place where every spice imaginable comes to life, and yes, haggling is part of the charm here too, so don't hold back. Even if you're not planning to buy anything, wandering through these souks adds a rich layer to your Dubai itinerary, offering a deep dive into your Emirati culture. Early Evening Dubai Abra Boat Ride Crossing Dubai Creek is a must-do, and while you've got options like driving or taking the metro, why not choose the most memorable way? Hop on a Dubai Abra for a journey that is as fun as it is scenic. These historic wooden vessels, blending the charm of a boat with the simplicity of a raft, have been updated with motors without losing their traditional essence. They effortlessly ferry both locals and tourists between Bur Dubai and Deira, offering a unique glimpse into the city's trading heritage. Yes, Dubai Creek, the very heart of Dubai's commerce, is still bustling with activity, with boats of all sizes loading and unloading cargo right before your eyes. Including an opera ride in your Dubai trip adds that special touch, and it's incredibly affordable at just 30 cents USD for a motorized crossing. For an unforgettable experience, aim for a sunset ride back to Bur Dubai. It's a sight to behold, and if you're eager for more, consider the Petrol Heritage Abra's 45-minute scenic cruise across Dubai Creek, which costs just 7 USD per person. Or for a truly personalized adventure, charter a private traditional Abra for an hour-long tour at 33 USD. Evening, Al Diafa Road To complete your journey through ancient Dubai's cultural tapestry, why not kick off your first evening with some delicious Middle Eastern cuisine? Dubai, a melting pot of cultures, offers an array of global culinary delights right at your fingertips. For a taste of authentic, budget-friendly eats, Al Diafa Road is your go-to destination. This lively street is brimming with eateries that serve up everything from local Emirati dishes to a variety of Middle Eastern and South Asian flavors. Craving some Arabic or Lebanese delicacies? Al Mala Diafa is a must visit. Here, you can indulge in your favorites without breaking the bank. Expect to spend around 10 to 15 USD for a hearty meal. After savoring your meal, take the opportunity to stroll by the Satwa Big Mosque. Bathed in the glow of the night sky, it's a sight to behold, adding a serene end to your culinary adventure. Insider tip. For the ultimate experience, try visiting just before sunset. Not only will you beat the dinner rush, but you'll also catch the area as it comes alive at night. A perfect backdrop for those Instagram-worthy shots. Day 2. Discovering Serenity in the City Morning. Sunrise at Burj Khalifa Topping your Dubai itinerary with a visit to the tallest tower in the world, the Burj Khalifa is a must-do. This architectural marvel stretches skywards to an astonishing 2,720 feet, making it a constant, awe-inspiring presence throughout your Dubai adventure. 
While the tower's grandeur is unmistakable from the ground, ascending to the observation decks on level 124 and 125 opens up the most spectacular vistas over the city and the Persian Gulf. Yes, the ticket price is a bit of an investment at around 46 USD, but believe me, it's an experience you won't want to miss. For those looking to elevate the adventure further, you can reach even loftier heights by visiting level 148, with tickets starting at 108 and 60 cents USD. And for the ultimate splurge, why not visit the world's highest lounge sprawled across levels 152, 153, and 154 for $209.40 USD. Planning your visit around sunset, prime hours are between 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. might be tempting, but keep in mind ticket prices do rise due to the demand. Mid-morning, Burj Park by Amar. Burj Park by Amar is the picturesque little island nestled in the heart of Burj Lake right across from the awe-inspiring Dubai Fountain. Yep, that's the biggest one in the world. It was initially crafted with special events and swanky gatherings in mind, so you can bet every corner is picture perfect. If you're on the hunt for Dubai's most Instagram-worthy spots, this place is a must-visit. Imagine snagging the best shots of the Burj Khalifa without the crowds. When I popped by, they were pretty strict about not bringing cameras, but smartphone photography was all good. Though, it seems they've chilled out on that rule a bit. Still, it might be wise to keep your camera use on the down low just to be safe. Oh, and here's a pro tip. Bring along a wide-angle lens for your phone or camera. Trust me, you'll want it to capture the entirety of the Burj Khalifa in all of its glory. Without it, you might find it tricky to get the whole skyscraper in one shot. Afternoon, Dubai Miracle Garden. Boasting a dazzling collection of over 50 million flowers, the Dubai Miracle Garden holds the title as the largest natural flower garden in the world, a testament to Dubai's love for breaking records. Alongside the blooms, 250 million plants share the space, arranged in innovative displays that even include an emirate's plane adorned with flowers. For those taking my recommendation to visit Dubai in the cooler winter months, the Miracle Garden is a must-see addition to your itinerary. Just remember, the garden takes a break and closes its doors from mid-May until November. So if your travel plans fall within these months, you'll have to miss out on this floral wonder and perhaps spend a bit more time exploring other attractions scheduled for the day. Getting there is straightforward. The closest metro station is Mall of the Emirates on the Red Line. From there, catch the 105 bus, which conveniently stops right outside the Miracle Garden. Alternatively, if you're looking to save some time, grabbing a taxi could be your best bet. And for those cruising around in a rental car, don't worry, there's plenty of parking available near the garden. Palm Jumeirah After marveling at the floral wonders, make your way to another iconic Dubai landmark, the Palm Jumeirah. This vast artificial island, shaped like a palm tree from above, offers a breathtaking view right from your plane window as you arrive. It's a spectacle of luxury, hosting some of Dubai's most prestigious hotels, private homes, and high-end restaurants. At its tip sits the world-renowned Atlantis The Palm Hotel. While there might be a charge for transportation, exploring Palm Jumeirah itself won't cost you a dime, and you don't need to be staying at the hotels to wander around. For an efficient and exciting addition to your four-day Dubai itinerary, hop on the Palm Monorail. Whether you're driving and park at the Palm Gateway Station, or take a taxi from places like the Dubai Miracle Garden, the monorail is your best bet for a swift and scenic journey. A one-way ticket is priced at about $5.45 USD, a round trip at $8.20 USD, and if you're planning to explore extensively, an unlimited day pass is a great deal at just $9.5 USD. Tickets are available both online and at the station. Late Afternoon – Lost Chambers Aquarium Consider adding a few hours to your itinerary to dive into the enchanting world of the Lost Chambers Aquarium. Nestled within the luxurious Atlantis Hotel, this Atlantis-themed underwater realm is a spectacle, housing over 65,000 marine animals in the mesmerizing Ambassador Lagoon. As you wander through, you'll find plenty of insightful information about the exhibits, highlighting the importance of marine conservation. Entry is reasonably priced at about $31.30 USD, and you can secure your spot by purchasing tickets in advance. For those looking to elevate the experience, why not indulge in extra adventures like scuba diving? 
The aquarium welcomes visitors daily from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m., offering a full day of exploration. Insider tip. To make the most of your visit, consider going during the weekday afternoons when it's less crowded. This way, you'll have more opportunities to interact with the exhibits and even chat with the caretakers for a deeper understanding of the aquatic life and conservation efforts. Evening, the point. For your second evening in Dubai, Palm Jumeirah offers a dazzling dining experience. While this iconic island boasts many culinary gems, I highly recommend exploring the point. This newly developed neighborhood has quickly become a hot spot with over 80 restaurants and bars along with chic boutiques. This area is also home to a stunning fountain show that gives the famous Dubai fountain a run for its money. The Point is lively, hosting regular events, festivals, and even farmers markets. Craving a movie night with a twist? Imagine watching a film five kilometers out at sea. And when it comes to dining, the options are as vast as the ocean. From aromatic Arabic dishes, zesty Mexican flavors, to exquisite Asian cuisines, and not to forget the delectable seafood offerings, there's something to satisfy every palate. Meal prices can vary widely, but you can enjoy a fantastic meal for around 20 to 50 USD per person, depending on your choice of restaurant. Insider tip, if you're visiting the point, time your dinner around the fountain show for an unforgettable dining backdrop. It's not just a meal, it's a spectacle, making your evening truly memorable. Day 3. Discover the Magic of Dubai Morning, Dubai Mall Even if the thrill of shopping doesn't usually excite you, no journey through Dubai in four days would be truly complete without wandering through one of its famed malls. There's always the joy of window shopping, after all. Step into the Dubai Mall, not just any mall, but the largest in the world by total area, marking yet another world record for this vibrant city. Here, the possibilities are endless, from fashion and home decor to toys, fragrances, and more. And if you find yourself peckish, there's an abundance of spots to enjoy some breakfast, with meals averaging around 15 USD. But it's not all about shopping. The mall is a spectacle in itself, featuring awe-inspiring installations scattered throughout. Take a moment to admire the Waterfall Wall, an artistic marvel that stretches across all four floors, showcasing figures of divers in a mesmerizing descent into the watery depths below. Dubai Mall welcomes visitors from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Monday through Thursday, extending its hours till midnight on weekends from Friday to Sunday. Lunch For a delightful meal near Dubai Mall, head over to Zar El Limun at Souk Al Bahar just a short walk away, offering a spectacular view of the Burj Khalifa and Dubai Fountain. Specializing in Lebanese cuisine, this spot is perfect for savoring authentic flavors. Opt for their mixed grilled platter, a mouth-watering combination of kebabs, and pair it with their refreshing tabbouleh. The meal will cost around 25 USD per person, offering both a taste of the region and unforgettable views. Afternoon, Dubai Aquarium and Underwater Zoo Nestled within the heart of Dubai Mall lies the enchanting Dubai Aquarium and Underwater Zoo, a mesmerizing world of sharks, rays, and thousands of tropical fish waiting to be discovered. Wander through the expansive walkthrough tunnel where you're so close to the marine life, it almost feels like you're joining them on a scuba diving adventure. You'll find the gateway to this underwater realm on the second floor welcoming visitors from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. on weekdays and extending an hour later till midnight on weekends. Entry starts at 54 USD, and for those keen on making the most of their visit, options to add special encounters or skip the line tickets are available for an extra splash of convenience. Secure your spot to dive into the wonders of the Dubai Aquarium by purchasing tickets in advance. Dubai Desert Safari Get ready for a heart-pounding adventure next on your Dubai journey. The iconic red sand dunes of Dubai, often captured in stunning photographs, beckon for a first-hand experience that's simply unmissable. The key to unlocking the desert's magic is a well-chosen desert safari tour. Among the myriad of choices, I wholeheartedly recommend the Al Khaima Camp Desert Safari, a choice that promises exceptional value. This tour not only including thrilling dune bashing and sandboarding, but also offers unique experiences like camel feeding, henna painting, and a captivating dance show, all culminating in a delightful sunset barbecue. As the sun sets, the desert transforms, allowing you to experience its nocturnal beauty. 
for those craving more adventure, quad biking is available for an additional fee. Conveniently, the tour includes pickup from your hotel around 2 p.m. in a 4x4 land cruiser guided by a professional driver to the Labab Desert, and later a hassle-free return to your hotel, so transportation is one less thing to worry about. This tour stands out as one of Dubai's most sought-after desert experiences, consistently exceeding expectations. Day 4 – Architectural Marvels of Dubai Morning – Jumeirah Mosque Exploring the Jumeirah Mosque is undeniably one of the highlights for any traveler in Dubai, especially since it's one of the mere two mosques in the city welcoming non-Muslim visitors. This offers an unparalleled opportunity to delve into the cultural and religious fabric of the UAE. Despite its construction in the 1970s, the mosque's design pays homage to the timeless elegance of traditional Islamic architecture, drawing inspiration from the Fatimid style prevalent in Syria and Egypt. This makes the Jumeirah Mosque a stunning spectacle and a must-visit for those looking to capture the essence of Dubai's spiritual heart. Joining a guided tour at 10 a.m. except Fridays is highly recommended to enrich your visit. It's a chance not just to admire the mosque's beauty, but to gain insightful perspectives into Islam's role in the UAE. Plus, you'll have the opportunity to engage and ask questions, making for a truly immersive experience. Aim to arrive by 9.30 a.m. for registration without needing prior arrangements. For just 9.5 USD, the tour not only opens up a window to Islamic culture, but also treats you to local snacks and coffee. Insider Tip Remember, modesty is key when visiting the mosque. Covering up, including a headscarf for women, is part of the respect shown when entering. But don't worry if you forget, you can borrow appropriate attire for your visit. This insider tip ensures you're fully prepared to experience one of Dubai's most revered cultural landmarks. Lunch Just a stone's throw from Jumeirah Mosque, Al Fanar Restaurant and Cafe is a prime spot for an authentic Emirati meal. Opt for the Chicken Mahbos, a fragrant rice dish with tender chicken priced at about 15 USD. And start with lugai meat, sweet dough balls, and date syrup for around 8 USD. Finish with Bita al Kamir, a cardamom flavored bread pudding for 7 USD. Including a traditional Karak tea at 3 USD, your total meal cost comes to approximately 30 USD, offering a taste of Dubai's rich culinary heritage in a single setting. Afternoon. Etihad Museum Just a leisurely 15-minute stroll from the mosque, you'll find the Etihad Museum. Unlike the Dubai Museum with its deep dive into local lore, the Etihad Museum unfolds the captivating story of the UAE's birth. Peek into the archives and you're transported through time, witnessing the pivotal moments before and after the historic treaty that united the Seven Emirates. From the get-go, the museum's modern facade hints at a cutting-edge experience awaiting inside. It's not just a museum, it's a journey facilitated by the latest technology, making the exploration of the UAE's history not just informative, but downright fun and interactive. For a small fee of around $6.80 USD, you're in for a treat from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day. They even offer guided tours at 12 p.m. and 5 p.m. if you're looking to deepen your understanding with expert insights. Give yourself a good two to three hours to fully engage with the collections. Insider Tip The museum's cafe is a hidden gem perfect for a reflective pause over a cup of coffee surrounded by the echoes of history. Don't miss it for a well-rounded experience. Evening, Dubai Creek Harbor Dubai Creek Harbor, nestled in the eastern part of Dubai, offers some of the most stunning views of the city's skyline. When I first visited, it was a work in progress, but now it's alive with bustling restaurants, unique street art, and intriguing sculptures. It's easy to mix up Dubai Creek Harbor with Dubai Creek itself. To clarify, Dubai Creek is a natural saltwater creek that has been extended into the new Dubai Canal, while Dubai Creek Harbor is a vibrant neighborhood along the shores of Dubai Creek. As of my last visit, public transportation doesn't get you there directly, so hailing a taxi is your best bet. But trust me, it's completely worth the trip. After exploring Dubai for four days, Dubai Creek Harbor emerges as the perfect spot to pause and reflect on your adventures in the city. Aim to arrive by sunset. The views of the sun dipping behind Dubai's iconic skyline are nothing short of magical. 
Consider lingering for a glass of wine or staying for dinner as the city's lights begin to sparkle. Mondo is a fantastic choice for dinner, where you can indulge in dishes like fresh seafood and hearty burgers with prices around 20 to 40 USD for a meal. Dubai Marina To cap off your unforgettable journey in the Middle East, there's no better way than enjoying cocktails with a panoramic view of the Dubai Marina. Getting there is a breeze. Hop on the red line to Dubai Marina Metro Station, or for a bit of an extra comfort, a taxi ride is always a delightful option. When it comes to choosing a spot for the best drinks, views, and vibes, you are truly spoiled for choice. However, Pure Sky Lounge and Bliss Lounge stand out as the gems for their breathtaking vistas and exquisite cocktail selection. Expect to spend around 12 to 15 USD per cocktail, a worthy splurge for such an extraordinary experience. And here's a little insider tip. If you decide to dine in the Dubai Marina area instead of Dubai Creek Harbor, it's wise to book a table ahead of time at your chosen restaurant. This ensures you get the best seat in the house for an evening that promises to be as dazzling as the city itself. And that wraps up our incredible journey through Dubai in four days. From the heights of the Burj Khalifa to the serenity of the desert, we hope this guide inspires you to explore the many facets of this dynamic city. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more travel inspiration, safe travels, and remember, the best adventures are yet to come. Until next time, keep exploring.